Step back in time to 1968, a year marked by cultural upheavals and musical revolutions. Among the cinematic offerings of that era, The Wrecking Crew stands as a captivating exploration of the behind-the-scenes world of music production. Directed by Denny Tedesco, the documentary sheds light on the unsung heroes of the music industry, the studio musicians whose contributions shaped the sound of countless hits. As you revisit this cinematic gem, you might find yourself pondering, do you have a cherished memory associated with this film? The enduring qualities that make The Wrecking Crew a timeless symbol of the industry are manifold. The documentary not only serves as a tribute to the talented musicians who enrich popular music, but also offers a glimpse into the meticulous craftsmanship that underpins the songs we hold dear. It raises essential questions about the nature of creativity and collaboration in the world of entertainment. What enduring qualities do you think make this documentary an everlasting symbol of the industry? Before we delve into the fascinating details, we're curious about your most cherished memory or personal experience related to The Wrecking Crew. Whether it's a nostalgic encounter with the film or a connection to the era it portrays, we'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Now, let's uncover some intriguing tidbits about The Wrecking Crew. Did you know that this group of session musicians played on numerous iconic tracks, from the Beach Boys' Good Vibrations to Frank Sinatra's Strangers in the Night? The film provides a riveting glimpse into the studio sessions that shaped the sound of an entire generation. The Wrecking Crew's versatility and musical prowess become evident as you witness their seamless collaboration with various artists across genres. As you explore the untold stories behind the music, take a moment to reflect on the impact of these unsung heroes. The Wrecking Crew not only unveils a bygone era of the music industry, but also pays homage to the artists who, though often in the shadows, played an instrumental role in shaping the soundtrack of our lives. Share your thoughts, memories, and reflections below your voice adds another layer to the rich tapestry of musical history. And remember, we would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. The Wrecking Crew, a 1968 film, stands as a testament to the era's cinematic charm and the allure of secret agents. Directed by Phil Carlson, this action-packed adventure unfolds as a renowned pianist is kidnapped, prompting the suave and resourceful Matt Helm, portrayed by Dean Martin, to plunge into the treacherous world of espionage. The film navigates a labyrinth of plot twists, glamorous settings, and a magnetic blend of suspense and humor. As Helm unravels the mystery, he is joined by an ensemble cast featuring the captivating Sharon Tate and the debonair Nigel Green. With its stylish portrayal of the swinging 60s and the espionage genre, The Wrecking Crew became a cultural touchstone, leaving an indelible mark on popular consciousness. The film's cocktail of wit, action, and Martin's charismatic performance contributed to its enduring legacy in the realm of spy cinema, leaving audiences both shaken and stirred by its undeniable charm and wit. A classic that transcends time, The Wrecking Crew continues to resonate as a quintessential example of 1960s cinematic allure. The Wrecking Crew marked the end of Matt Helm's cinematic journey, but its impact goes beyond the final credits. Notably, the film's closing scene hinted at the next Adventureth Ravagers. Unfortunately, that chapter remained unwritten as The Wrecking Crew became the concluding act in the Matt Helm series. Behind the scenes, Matt Helm's sleek ride, a 1968 Lincoln Mark Roman III, played a role as crucial as any character. Three versions of the car were used, each serving a distinct purpose complete, damaged, and dialogue-driven. The wheels, a 1968 Lincoln Mark Roman III, added a touch of sophistication to Helm's daring escapades. Moreover, a memorable showdown between Sharon Tate and Nancy Kwan unfolded on screen, a clash that might have sown the seeds for a famous duel in Kill Bill by Quentin Tarantino over three decades later. Tate and Kwan's confrontation in The Wrecking Crew left an indelible mark, echoing through cinematic history. As the credits rolled, signaling the end of Matt Helm's era, the echoes of what could have been with the Ravagers lingered. The film's legacy lies not only in its espionage charm, but also in the behind-the-scenes details Matt Helm's stylish wheels and a cinematic showdown that resonated across decades. The Wrecking Crew, a cinematic relic. Amidst the cinematic charm of The Wrecking Crew, a pivotal moment unfolded behind the scenes altering the trajectory of the film series. In the aftermath of the movie's release, tragedy struck with the brutal murder of Sharon Tate, co-star and friend to Dean Martin. 
Tate's untimely death deeply affected Martin, leading him to abandon the next slated installment, The Ravagers, and retire the iconic Matt Helm character. Contrary to popular belief that the series concluded due to poor reviews and box office performance, it was the emotional toll exacted by Tate's murder that marked the true conclusion of Matt Helm's cinematic journey. The widely held opinion now faces a poignant revelation, shedding light on the personal impact that transcended the silver screen. Moreover, the attempt to infuse martial arts into the film added an interesting layer. Bruce Lee, serving as the fight choreographer, sought to train Dean Martin in martial arts for his fight scenes. However, Lee's candid assessment labeled Martin as clumsy and lazy, leading to the decision to enlist a stunt double for Martin instead. As we delve into the layers behind the wrecking crew, the convergence of personal tragedy and the challenges of choreographing fight scenes offer a nuanced perspective on the film's dynamics. Beyond the stylish portrayal of espionage in the swinging 60s, these behind-the-scenes revelations provide a compelling backdrop to the legacy of The Wrecking Crew, showcasing the intricacies that shaped its narrative. Columbia Production No. 808869 adds a touch of industry detail, anchoring the film in the broader context of cinematic production. This production number, often overlooked, serves as a key identifier, linking The Wrecking Crew to the intricate web of Columbia Pictures' cinematic endeavors. In conclusion, the untold stories behind The Wrecking Crew, from the emotional aftermath of Sharon Tate's tragic fate to the attempt at martial arts training by Bruce Lee, redefine our understanding of this classic film. The web of personal and industry dynamics, encapsulated by Columbia Production No. 88 and 69, contributes to the film's enduring legacy in unforeseen ways. In a surprising twist behind the scenes of The Wrecking Crew, Bruce Lee took on the role of martial arts advisor for the film. Notably, he was just confined to advising. Lee was tasked with training and teaching Sharon Tate for her martial arts scenes. This unexpected collaboration added an intriguing layer to the movie as Lee, a martial arts legend, brought his expertise to the set. The film also marks Chuck Norris' debut, albeit as an extra, adding another interesting facet to its cast. Interestingly, The Wrecking Crew diverges significantly from Donald Hamilton's 1960 novel of the same title. While the novel is set in Sweden and revolves around a different plot, the movie takes a distinct direction, emphasizing espionage and a suave protagonist's adventures. The shadowy U.S. government organization referred to as The Wrecking Crew in the novel takes on a new meaning in the cinematic adaptation. These behind-the-scenes details and deviations from the source material contribute to the unique narrative and legacy of The Wrecking Crew, offering fans a fresh perspective on this classic film. As we wrap up this cinematic journey, take a moment to reflect on the echoes of brilliance left by a certain unforgettable film from the late 60s. You've experienced the magic, felt the beats, and perhaps found yourself lost in the rhythms of The Wrecking Crew. Now, as the credits roll, let your thoughts wander through the tapestry of memories this movie has woven into your life. What melodies linger in your mind? Which scene struck a chord deep within your heart? Share your unique tale bit, an anecdote, a favorite character, or a scene that stayed with you through the years. Every viewer has a personal connection waiting to be unraveled, much like the intricate layers of this classic gem. Your thoughts are the threads that bind us in this shared appreciation for cinematic artistry. So, whether you're humming to its tunes or reminiscing about its charm, let your voice join this symphony of recollections. Thank you for embarking on this nostalgic journey and sharing your reflections. Your perspective adds richness to this collective ode to a timeless cinematic creation of peace that still resonates across generations. Until our paths cross again in the realm of shared stories and silver screens, thank you for your time and your boundless interest. Here's to the lasting melodies that linger far beyond the closing scenes.